In today's video, I'm gonna take you on a journey with me as I forage for and make a plantain salve. I'm making this salve specifically for bug bites and scratches because I am typically covered in both of those all throughout the summer. This thing has actually become my first defense for bug bites. I just discovered it this year, and I'm so obsessed with it that I actually wrote a blog post on it and I linked it down below. But sometimes I don't always get to the bug bite thing in time, so I needed a backup, which is why I'm making this salve. Because I swear I must taste like an ice cream buffet to mosquitoes because they are obsessed with me. <laughs> Plantain is something that everyone most likely has in their yard. I've seen it growing at sea level, at 8,000 feet of elevation in the Colorado Rockies and here in Western North Carolina. I've been wanting to make a salve from plantain for quite some time, but for some reason, I just never made it happen. Plantain is abundant here though, which is probably what inspired me to finally take action. And I may have gone a little overboard with the amount of plantain I infused in olive oil, but I was excited. First, I rinsed everything off with some water. Then I picked out all the dried grass and dried the leaves as best I could with a towel. After that, I cut the leaves up and packed them into a pint-sized jar and covered them with olive oil. This was the first time I'd infused an oil with live plant matter. In the past, I've used dried leaves and flowers, and with that process, you don't need to cook anything. With the live plant matter, however, it has to be heated on the stove, or the water in the plant matter will cause the oil to go rancid. The recipe I followed said it needed to stay on the stove for 24 to 48 hours at around 120 degree heat. And no, I was not perfectly consistent with that but everything seems to have worked out okay. Two days later, it was time to strain the oil and make the salve. It smelled really delicious, which is about to become really obvious. <laughs> kind of like grape leaves soaked in olive oil. As you can see, Maggie is now a huge fan of plantain infused olive oil. It actually smelled so good that I tried some too, and it was pretty good. Plantain is not only medicinal, but it's also edible. After I strained and squeezed out all the infused oil, it was time to make the salve. I measured out a half cup of oil. And then I grabbed an ounce of beeswax and 
just a note, this way of cutting up the beeswax is not a good idea. <laughs> I was worried I would slip and cut my fingers off, so I got out the big guns. And then I put Maggie and Frida in the house. <laughs> The meat cleaver was overkill, but I don't use it very often and I thought it would be fun to cleave the wax into pieces. And it was. After the wax was cleaved, I put it and the oil into an 8 cup Pyrex to act as a double boiler. And then I put everything together on the stove to melt. Once the mixture had melted and cooled a bit, I poured it into a small jar and afterward placed it in the fridge to harden. I'm super happy with the outcome. I'll probably look into adding essential oils the next time I make it because as it is, it smells a little like something you'd want to eat and not something you'd want to rub all over your body but I've already put it to use so I know it works and that means it's worth it. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed my salve making adventure as much as I did. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.